I got so obsessed with the maximum core population that I started the series about it. In this series, I'm gonna cover the maximum core population of every single country that exists in Hearts of Iron 4 in an alphabetical order. And our today's letter is letter A. And yes, we will cover the Argentina today as well. We're starting strong today with Abkhazia. Abkhazia is a releasable country which starts by only calling the state of Abkhazia with roughly half a million core population. To get the maximum core population of Abkhazia, you have to conquer the states of Sochi, Kabardino Balkaria, North Ossetia, Chechnya and Gushetia, and Dagestan. This will let you do Unite the Mountains Republic's decision, which will change your cosmetic tag and will give you cores in all of these states, increasing your core population to 3.75 million people. Also, shout out to the guy who told me in the comments that by holding control and then clicking on the states while using occupation paint, you can have control over the entire state. If you're watching this, you help me significantly and I love you. Our second nation is Afghanistan. To have the maximum core population of Afghanistan, you have to click on the Recreate the Persian Empire decision. You first have to control all of these states and and then, when you click on the decision, you will core them, which would increase your core population as Afghanistan to 52.32 million. Next country on the list is Al-Andalus, and yes, it's an actual country. However, this country is not a releasable nation when you start the game on the regular start. Instead, you have to go to the custom game rules, and on the Spanish fragmentation status, you have to pick 11th of November. However, you'll only be able to start a Spain in this run, so you have to either tag to Al-Andalus, or annex them and then release yourself as them. The Al-Andalus uses the ADU tag and starts in the states of Granada and Gibraltar. They also core all of the starting cores of Spain and Portugal. And through the Moorish restoration decisions, they'll be able to get even more cores. You can get cores in all of these states, increasing your maximum core population to 132.49 million people. Next up, we got Albania, which has a population of 1 million people and starts with 3 states. Albania can only core one extra state and that is the state of Kosovo. For that, Italy would have to annex them, after which they have to go for the foreign affairs path. You have to finish the support Albanian redemptism focus. After controlling Albania, they'll be able to establish Reino de Albania, which will also get a core on Kosovo. If Italy on top of that owns Kosovo already, then Reino de Albania will also get to own it. At the end of the day, Albania has a maximum core population of 1.62 million people. Next up, we've got Algeria. Algeria starts with a core population of 6.46 million people, which is similar to the population of Austria, but they can greatly increase it. While restoring the Al-Andalus, they'll get cores on all of Spain and Portugal. Southern of Africa will give them cores on Western Sahara, Morocco, Tunisia, and Libya. Restoring Emirate of Sicily gives them cores on Sardinia, Corsica, Sicily, Malta, Crete, Dodocanese, and Cyprus. Umayyad Caliphate gives them cores on almost all of Egypt, almost all of Arabia, Iraq, and Levant. Rashidi expansion gives them cores on Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. And the Northern Expansion gives them cores in Eastern Anatolia and also in the Northern Caucasus. Of course, half of which are missing increasing their maximum core population to 132.49 million people, just like with the Al-Andalus. Next up, we've got Altai. Altai is a reasonable nation which cores the states of Altai Krai and Oirat region at the start of the game, have a core population of 2.26 million people. Despite being a cradle of Turkic peoples, it cannot form Turkestan. However, it can form a Siberian state, giving it cores on all of these states. Integrating Far East will give it cores on all the Russian Far East, pushing to the Urals will give them cores in the Ural Mountains, and also Liberate the Ainu will give them cores in Hokkaido, South Sakhalin, and the Kuril Islands, increasing their maximum core population to 27.47 million people, which is just a little bit more than what Spain has got at the start of the game. Our next nation is Angola. At the start of the game, Angola cores the states of Luanda, Southwest Angola, Zambezi, and North Angola, having the core population of 3.22 million, which is their maximum core population. Unfortunately, Angola as of today cannot increase its core population at all. And here comes the bread and potatoes of the video, Argentina. What's the maximum core population of Argentina? Argentina starts with a core population of 16.89 million people. Fun fact, since the Trial of Allegiance DLC, Argentina has magically gained 5 million people. However, they can have way more core population, and today I'm gonna show you how it's possible. First things first, Poland will have to go for one of the fascist paths. They had to go for either seek German alignment or the Beck-Ribbentrop-Fuck focus. Germany will get to core four Polish states, giving them about another four million core population. Next up, Czechoslovakia will have to go for the liver Sudetenland focus. However, this focus is bugged and it always gets bypassed. Only way for it to work is for Germany to already have Sudetenland or Eastern Sudetenland or both of them. This will give Germany ownership and cores on the states of Sudetenland and Eastern Sudetenland. Another three and a half million core population. After this, Germany will have to go for oppose the H-man path and end up in the civil war. In the meantime, Argentina has to finish Roberto Maria Ortiz's focus, as well as work with the nationalist focus. And once the Berlin falls, the H-man gets replaced by another H-man. In this war, German military junta has to win, after which Germany will go for secure the new state and then re-establish free elections path. 
They will eventually go democratic, and after this they'd have to realize the European unity, which would give them course on all of Benelux, all of Italy, and all of France except for the Basque country, for some reason, and they'll also get to court Zara. In the meantime, they'll also have to get that referendum event, which will unite them with Austria and give them course on them. However, this is a little bit RNG and is not guaranteed to always work. In the meantime, Argentina gets a strange visitor and unlocks the hidden focus tree. They can finish four times the charm focus in the meantime, they can also finish these two focuses to the right, but they cannot go for Guerra de Rampego until Germany has achieved its maximum course. When Germany does achieve its maximum course, then they can finish this focus. Which means that they're gonna core all of these states themselves. Let's also not forget that if Germany works their way down the fascist focus tree, they can finish South American unity focus. This will give them all of these integration decisions. At the end of the day, Argentina would core all of these states, and yeah, don't ask me what happened right here, even I don't know, with a maximum core population of 283.73 million people. We've got three more countries left to go. First one is Australia. Fortunately, Australia is one of the only two countries which has a focus tree, which cannot change its core population from the starting one at all. The only other nation which has this property is Japan. So their maximum core population is indeed 6.55 million people, which is almost identical to the population of Austria at the start of the game, which is 6.53 million. However, Austria can increase its core population through a restore the Austria-Hungarian Empire decision. This renames Austria to Austria-Hungary, and they get cores on all of these states, coring all of Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Transylvania, and about two-thirds of Yugoslavia, and let's not forget parts of Italy as well, increasing their maximum core population to 46.37 million people, which is just a little bit more than what UK has got at the start of the game. And our final country for today is Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. At the start of the game, Azerbaijan cores these three states with a core population of 5.63 million people, however they can get some more of it. If they recreate the Transcaucasian Federation, they'll core Georgia and Armenia. Reuniting the Azeri diaspora does nothing for them, However, integrating the Northern Caucasus gives them cores on all of these states in the Northern Caucasus. Claims in Anatolia gives them some cores in Anatolia. Besides that, they also have restored the Kalmy Khanate, restored the Crimean Khanate, and subjugated Anatolian cores decisions. However, these decisions don't increase their core population at all. At the end of the day, Azerbaijan cores all of these states with a maximum core population of 14.49 million people. Thanks for watching and like for the part 2, which is gonna cover all the countries which start with the letter B, including Bhutan. And bye!